we are grateful for the invention of cameras. And even more, we are grateful that everyone literally has a camera in their hand once they're with their smartphone. Because of these, people are able to capture things at the right moments, from the crashed car filled with catfish to the reporter who swallowed an insect on live TV. Here are 20 times camera was at hand at the right moment. A parrot steals the AirPod of a news reporter. Under our very noses, crime rates are skyrocketing. We now have flying criminals like this parrot taking stuff that doesn't belong to them. The irony of this video is that the Chilean reporter, Nicholas Crum, was talking about theft in one of the country's regions. So there he was, talking about the rise of robberies in the local area and in front of the hundreds of people watching him live, the winged creature perches on his shoulder and flies away with one of his AirPods between its beak. According to local media sources, the parrot later dropped the AirPod and they found it. It probably didn't find any Bluetooth device to connect it to. This might just be the most hilarious thing to occur on a live news broadcast. Comic relief after the sad news of the rise of robberies. Crumb did an excellent job of maintaining his cool. When the parrot perched on his shoulder, he tried to signal the crew members to do something. And before anyone could act, the bird ran away with his device. He couldn't chase after it on live TV, could he? The video quickly went viral. Even though it's in Spanish, it was shared across social media platforms worldwide. Some commenters said that the birds are being trained by someone to steal stuff from people. They went on to add that the authorities should track the bird's trainer and not just let it go. Oh well, we believe it's just a regular curious bird. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. The sun was setting and there was a woman on the roof. Seems like a puzzle. Who is this woman? And more importantly, why is she on the roof? The area looks deserted, save for the woman and the trees behind the house. The picture could pass for a painting. It looks very much like one, but the details like the decay at the side of the building and the antenna on the building at the back makes us think that it's a picture, probably taken by someone as curious as us. When you see a woman bound like that and posed on top of a building, you might be a little curious and maybe even creeped out. On a lighter note, she could have gone on the roof for a number of reasons to check a leakage, spy on someone, for the view, or to clean it up. We'll leave it here. Let's hand it over to you. What do you think is going on in this picture? Do you think it's something we should bother ourselves about, or should we just let it go? Share your thoughts with us in the comments, and don't forget to use the hashtag missing topic. We'll be waiting. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Cat relaxing and enjoying spa with his owner. While some people pamper their children, some people pamper their cats, and of course, some people pamper both. Chase, the cat owned by Kareem and Fifi from California, is one lucky cat. In this video, we see Chase having a chill spa day alongside its owner. It's the complete spa treatment with cucumber slices on the eyes and all. Just like us, Fifi was surprised when she walked in on them, lying peacefully on the bed with their eyes closed. She asked Google to stop the music and asks her husband what he's doing. Of course, his reply is that they're having a spa day. She probably thinks this is ridiculous. She walks up to the cat and takes the cucumber slices off its eyes. She says, let's go, Chase. But Chase doesn't move an inch. The cat sort of grumbles and tries to bite her hand. Fifi gives up and puts back the cucumber slices on the cat's eyes. Fifi and Kareem are known for posting sweet and funny videos with their cats on TikTok. They have millions of subscribers and don't fail to entertain their followers with amazing content. They started creating content during quarantine to help get them through the day. They soon discovered that their cats, Chase, Sky, and Millie, enjoy the spa experience. In another video, we see the cats are so at peace they fall asleep. A spider tied his feet. Someone said this is the spider that bit Spider-Man, and we can't help but to agree. This is one stubborn, relentless, and wicked spider. We can't help but wonder what the fly did to the spider. Sadly, neither spiders nor flies can talk, so we'll never know. The spider has webs around the fly's legs, so it's handcuffed and imprisoned. Poor fly, we really wish we could tell what's happening here. Can this be termed kidnapping? Or is the spider some sort of police? Why capture the fly? Did it come to terrorize the spider's territory? The comments on Instagram went wild, with people trying to guess what was happening. One commenter said the video goes to show size doesn't matter 
and people should stop wasting their time in the gym. Some people wonder why the recorder of the video didn't save the fly. We don't know what you think, but we believe a spider that can do something like this should be avoided. After all, there are several species of dangerous spiders. Not everyone can tell if a spider is poisonous or not. It's better to avoid anyone you suspect to be. That's our advice to you. Sure, this video is quite funny. However, we can bet the fly would disagree. At the end of the video, the spider creeps under the fly's wings. What did it look for in there? It wasn't that fly's lucky day. Waking up a little boy. If you've ever been woken up this way, we can bet you didn't enjoy the experience or find it funny. So this young boy fell asleep in class, and the teacher asked the class to wake him up by clapping their hands. The boy woke up abruptly, and you could see the embarrassment on his face. The video was shared on social media and sparked different reactions from people online. While some think that the video was funny, others argue that it's inappropriate for a teacher to treat a child like that and go ahead and post it online. Some commenters felt that it was a sort of violation against the child. Is it part of the children's syllabus or learning techniques to make fun of them and post it on the internet? Would the teacher post the video if it were her child? Would she even ask the class to startle him if it were her child? The class must have laughed at him throughout the day and maybe the week. That poor boy. A simple nudge would have woken him up. A boy singing with his goat. Goats are known to be stubborn animals. People barely know how to control them and keep them calm, doing what you want them to do. Well, this TikTok user may have just discovered the answer to the age-old puzzle. Sing to your goat. Who would have thought that singing to a goat could actually relax it? and even, wait for it, make it rest its head on your shoulder. This goat seems to be having the time of its life listening to the melodic voice of its owner. If you go through this guy's page, you'll see more videos of him dancing with his chickens and singing other songs to his goat. Maybe it's him. Perhaps he's got a talent for bonding with poultry and livestock animals, animals people hardly ever bond with. It's good to know a goat can pause, stop bleeding, let you put your arm around it, close its eyes, rest its head on your shoulder, and listen to music. If everyone could get a goat to behave in such a manner, more people would consider getting them as pets. In another video, the goat grins while resting on his shoulder. Yes, it actually grins, teeth and all. You don't need someone who speaks goat to tell you that goat is happy. That goat was probably thinking, there's no place I'd rather be. A cat master in opening the door. Warning, if you're a cat owner, it's no longer okay to leave your cat in the room and expect it not to let itself out. As you can see in these videos, cats have the ability to open doors all on their own. Let's add that to the list of things those felines can do. There are over a hundred things on that list, but that's a topic for another day. Despite their lack of thumbs, these cats have learned to jump or tiptoe to open doors. In one of the TikTok videos, the cat owner is amazed at how smart their pet is. The video was posted with the caption, Why is he so smart? Do you have pets that can open doors? A dog or a cat? If yes, tell us in the comments. For those cats to be able to open the doors, it means they've been trying for a long time. They've had enough time to practice and have been opening those doors long before the video was recorded. Way to go, cats! People crossing the Mexican border. We're not the only ones interested in this group of people. The cars on the road are literally crawling. The drivers could have just parked their cars to get to a better look. Anyway, we're not focusing on the cars, but the five people who came out from who knows where with a ladder and ropes tying three of them together. The video may look comical or confusing, but for those involved, those five people, it's serious business. Apparently, those three people who were roped together before they even appeared in the video are migrating to the United States. They're not just going over a huge fence they're crossing the Mexican border into America. It seems like a well-thought-out plan. They don't waste any time. The two men holding the ladder cross the road first. They set it up, and the three immigrants run to the scene. Before you try to figure out what's happening, they're climbing. It's a pity that some have to go through this route in pursuit of better lives. They wouldn't have suspected that, apart from the passengers and the cars passing by, there was a camera somewhere far off watching their little escape. We hope for their sakes that they landed safely and the grass on the other side of the fence was greener. A man carrying a cow on a bus. It's just a group of guys on a train. And oh, is that a cow? What is going on? Some people in the video's comments on Instagram said this happened in Switzerland. 
Some said it's in Germany, and some said it's a normal occurrence in Ohio. Who are we to believe? Another commenter said, this is the original hangover. Just imagine going out for a party with the gang. The night starts off on a good note and soon everyone is drunk. The next time you're conscious, you're all on a train back home. Your head hurts and some of your friends still have cans of beer in their hands. You say to yourself, everything's gonna be all right. I'll soon be home. Then you glance behind you and boom, there it is, a medium-sized cow, right there in the middle of the train. Then the questions start to pour out. What happened last night? Where do we go? How on earth is there a cow in here? Did we buy a cow? Did we steal it? If we did any of the last two, where did we find the cow? You look around the train to find that some of your friends are unbothered, chatting and pressing their phones. You become even more worried because that may mean you've unconsciously become a part cow owner. Maybe you're the guy in the video bowing his head because everyone except the guy looks excited about having a cow on the train. Seriously, how and why did the cow get on that train? Catfishes in a car wreck. A new fishing method may have been discovered. Let's explain what's going on here. A crane is pulling a crashed car from the river where it was buried. As the vehicle is returned to land, it reveals its content, several hundred pounds of catfish. The fish had definitely taken a liking to the car's interior because why are there so many of them in there? Is the vehicle a more comfortable place than its natural habitat, the sea? Of course, the fish won't survive if the car wasn't in the water, but it's still absurd. We don't know how the car ended up in the river and why it's been removed. You can come up with an explanation of your choice. That's what commenters did. One said he'd heard a story of a missing elderly couple in France. Their car was found in the river, and when it was lifted, it was filled with enormous catfish. From their large eyes, it was deduced that the fish got into the car when they were little and fed on the corpses and other fish that swam into the car. Some viewers who watched this video believed there were dead bodies, and these fish ate them. It turns out that catfish can eat human beings. They have the teeth for it. So, these fish may have just met their doom. Here's a supply of fresh fish for the local restaurants. It's eat and be eaten. They might have also tossed the fish back into the water. Who knows? Heroic Cat Protected Toddler It's funny that the child's parents stood there and watched the cat be the savior of the day. We'll just add to the list of things that cats can do. Rescue babies when their parents can't. So the white feline was hanging out in the kitchen with the family. The toddler was playing with the dials on the oven and the adults were having a conversation. The cat tried to distract the child, but the boy was just too fixated on that stove. The cat was tired of being ignored and decided to do something. The cat jumped up and pushed the toddler's arm away from the dangerous kitchen appliance. We can all agree that the cat is smart, gorgeous, and has maternal instincts. The parents hit the jackpot by having such a cat as a pet. However, people have a problem with them leaving the child to play with a stove. Whether the oven was turned on or not, it isn't okay to let the boy think he can always play with it. Anyway, we're supposed to focus on the heroic cat and not the parents. So, well done, Miss Cat. Or is it Miss Catty? Flying Clown Haunts the Neighborhood Every Halloween, people look for more ways to spice things up. Sometime in 2014, this YouTuber pulled a Halloween prank by dressing up a drone as a clown and flying it around town. To our disappointment, he didn't exactly prank anyone. There were hardly any humans around. One dog seemed interested though. It didn't look scared, more like curious. It must have been wondering where the buzzing sound was coming from. There were also two children that seemed a little bit shocked. In summary, the prank wasn't successful, or it would have worked out if it had been on a larger scale where there are actual people on the road to scare. The guy did a pretty good job in dressing up the drone. Rising up and later falling to the ground with the black dress and red collar is epic. Who said only humans and animals could wear costumes? It's Halloween, and everyone and everything should be given a chance to participate. The drone is supposed to be a clown. It looks more like a vampire, if you ask us, with a collar and all. Anyway, it's a good stunt, and many people said they'd repeat the prank in their neighborhood. A dog protects a kid. The dog is its guardian angel, one commenter said. Do you agree? It was a regular day for this TikToker. He'd been taking a route he didn't usually drive through when he saw a dog barking hysterically on the road. He parked and found out that the dog was trying to draw his attention to the baby on the side of the road. 
The little girl was crying and alone on the road. The TikToker was shocked. What's she doing here? The dog kept barking and nudging the TikToker to pick the baby up. He did, but was cautious that he'd be seen as an abductor by anyone who may have been watching. He took the baby back to the car to get to his phone. He called 911, and after the police arrived, the whole situation was explained. An older child, probably her sibling, had left the door open and gone to the neighbors. The little girl had tried to follow and ended up outside, almost on the road. Every other person in the house was asleep so that no one could be blamed for the incident. Instead, we should give credit to the heroes of the day, the dog and the TikToker. The dog had followed the baby outside and must have been barking for a long time, looking for help for his friend. We must appreciate the TikToker who stopped his car. Trust us, not everyone would have stopped. Some people would have kept going because they didn't want to be involved and some because of fear that it was a trap. Thankfully, the TikToker was bold and kind enough to heed the dog and save the baby. Famous German girl ghost caught on camera. A security guard was recording a video during his night shift. He wanted to send it to a supervisor, informing him that he couldn't do his round check as it was raining. This was how he captured a ghost believed to be a girl honored in Paula Ubin. The figure dressed in an old medieval gown was seen skirting through the rain. The video was quite blurry, but we agree that someone went by and she appears to be in a dress. So there's a legend of an 18-year-old German girl who died on the island in 1914 from falling off a cliff while trying to flee from the British Army in World War I. The story goes that her body was found by the Boyanese people and covered up with sand. Later, the corpse was retrieved by Chinese workers who gave her a proper burial. The locals believe that the girl's spirit remained on the island, and there's even a makeshift shrine for her at Kita Mountain Bike Park where visitors leave gifts like makeup and Barbie dolls. But then, the legend of the German girl might be a myth. There is an eerie atmosphere here. There have been several sightings and spooky noises in the area, but there's no proof that it's the German girl. However, we can't deny the fact that the security guard saw something ghostly that night. Cute invaders A group of birds visited a New South Wales neighborhood. We're talking about hundreds of birds flying around the area. The birds are a type of cockatoo known as corellas. They're native to the New South Wales region of Shoalhaven. Don't you wonder why the birds were drawn to this particular place? We're wondering the same, and we're sure the residents of the area are too. It'll have been really cute if the birds didn't disturb anyone, but the birds are destructive. Sadly, there's nothing the residents can do, as they're a protected species. So they just sat and prayed for the bird apocalypse to end. Some viewers are of the opinion that the bird's actions are reactions to the loss of their natural habitat. Professor Gisela Kaplan explained that Corella birds don't fly in huge packs unless they suddenly find themselves without a home. They usually move in small groups of 20 to 30. When you see more than a hundred of them, it's because they've all fled from somewhere and flock together. They may leave a place if there's a shortage of water or food or the heat becomes unbearable. The professor went on to explain that we need to accommodate these birds when they show up in numbers like these because the huge flock may be the sum total of all the birds that exist in that state or region. Cheeky monkey steals woman's mobile. Do not bite the hand that feeds you. That's the idiom. Nobody said, do not steal the phone of the hand that feeds you. So technically, the monkey didn't break any rules. This Chinese lady thought she was being generous when she stretched out a hand to feed the monkey some nuts. She didn't know what was coming for her. The group of girls visit a zoo and are excitedly watching monkeys do their thing. The girl motions for one monkey to eat the nuts she has in her hand. She tries to entice it, but it's too shy and remains behind the tree. Then, a bigger monkey comes out and is like, if you don't want it, I do. He stalks forward reaches out a hand and grabs the tasty nuts. You think he'll sit there and wait for another set of the tasty morsels or simply scamper away, but it does none of that. Instead, this ungrateful monkey grabs the girl's mobile phone and runs off into the trees. Of course, the girl is amused. No one expects a monkey to steal their phone, especially not one you just fed. Anyway, this cheeky monkey could have cared less. The monkey must have gone to brag to his friends about his new device and take a selfie or two and maybe a group pic with his best friends and family. Or maybe, just maybe, he wanted to put a call through to his long-distance girlfriend. A news anchor swallowed a fly. This news anchor, Farrah Nasser, 
took professionalism to the next level. While introducing a story about Pakistan's floods during a recording of Global National, she stopped mid-read to clear her throat and continued almost immediately. Afterward, she said she'd swallowed a fly. How did she manage to continue as if it was just saliva she'd swallowed? Being a TV anchor is much more than reading lines off a teleprompter. As you can see, it's about keeping a straight face, enduring any discomfort, and passing the right information across. The reporter did an excellent job by not allowing the situation to interrupt the story she was introducing. Later, in an interview with Entertainment Tonight Canada, she said she'd seen the fly flying around at the beginning of the news. In her words, she was like, Not today, fly. Get away, not today. I'm not going to let you distract me. Indeed, she didn't let the fly distract her. She also said that unlike what everyone who watches the video thinks, she didn't swallow the fly but tossed it to the side. We don't know about that, it looked like she swallowed something. Whichever way, we must applaud the journalist for her composure amidst the circumstances. Octopus Hugging Teddy Bear Animals have feelings too, even the ones that live deep down in the sea. This video got a lot of reactions, different sets of people with their opinions of what's going on in the video. So the teddy bear was sent into the water and had a very short affair with an octopus. Emphasis on very. When the teddy bear got there, the octopus was intrigued. It stretches out one of its tentacles towards it and slowly wraps its arms, giving the teddy bear a hug. Pun intended. It's a very cute love story, at least for the minute that it lasts. The octopus soon lets go of the teddy and slithers back into its home, abandoning it in a strange land. Why did the octopus quickly lose interest in the bear? Everything was going fine. What happened? Some viewers believe that the octopus thought the bear was edible, and when it realized it couldn't eat it, it let it go. Others disagreed and said immediately after the octopus touched the teddy bear with its tentacles, it knew it wasn't food. It only embraced it because it was curious and perhaps lonely. Look around. There's no sign of life anywhere close. The octopus lives a solitary life in its tiny makeshift home. Commenters also complained about the state of the sea. One person wrote, The only thing that got me emotional is the fact that we don't take care of our ocean. A kid playing with a python. It's difficult to watch this video because what's going on? No, no, how's this happening? In a number of seconds, this kid can go from laughing to dead. How do you allow a kid to play with a giant reticulated python as if it's playing with a rubber ball? We can see the boy sitting in the snake's coils and when it slithers away, he follows the snake and picks it up in his hands. The snake could have easily swallowed the child or wrapped itself around him. If any of that had happened, nobody, not even the parents, could save him. The video went viral on the internet and got the same terrifying reaction from everybody. That's not surprising. No one's going to be okay with watching a kid play with a snake. People pointed out that the snake was probably full, hence why it did not touch the child. Some said the snake might have been a pet. Hmm, how does a snake know it's a pet? How do you domesticate a wild animal? Even pet dogs have been reported to kill children. A pit bull can easily murder a child, so it'd be pretty much a breeze for a gigantic python to do it. Within a few seconds, a reticulated python could wrap its coils around a person's body, and the person would quickly die, either because their airways had been blocked off or blood circulation to the brain had been cut off. Well. None of these happened to the child, so we should just stop here. However, don't try this at home, kids. If you see a snake, run. Man shooting balloons perfectly. This is comic relief after the last video. Or is it? He's shooting balloons. Seems fun, but he's right on target. He's shooting at the balloons perfectly and is so focused on them. It kind of looks like he's letting out rage. Some people do these when they feel angry or overwhelmed. Some like to break things, and some like to practice archery or something similar. Maybe this is it for the Chinese guy shooting balloons, but there's a crowd cheering him on and it's like a sort of game. People in the comments were amused and said a lot of things about this guy. They said he's a video game expert. Another person called him John Wick and another Jet Li. People also wished he'd hit his boss's hand just to see what the reaction would have been. This video is one of those you don't see all the time. And that's what makes it intriguing. The guy's an expert shooter and should probably be recruited into the army. Little girl got scared of her own shadow. When you argue with your best friend or twin, you can walk and stay away from them for a while, but you can't stay away from your shadow. 
you can't hide from it. Even when you don't want it there, it'll be there, so long as there's light behind you. This little girl didn't want her shadow following her, but oops, she couldn't run from it. Children are known to be scared of their shadows, but it doesn't make it less funny when you watch it happen. There have been videos of kids trying to run after, run away from, pick up, and beat up their shadows. They're like, why are you following me? Get away! How do you explain a shadow to a toddler? How do you explain to them nothing's really there, and it's just them? They can't chase it away, and their shadows can't harm them. Since that's difficult to do, you could just watch them being hysterical and laugh your lungs out. It's fun to watch, and this video is a testament to that. Poor girl, she's so terrified. Just follow your mama, the shadow's harmless. When you witness something no one's going to believe, you could take a picture for evidence. There's no denying the advantages of having a camera around the corner. When you witness something no one's going to believe, you could take a picture for evidence. There's no denying the advantages of having a camera around the corner. If not for the camera, we wouldn't have brought this wonderful collection of videos to you today. So, when you next witness something worth capturing, don't hesitate to do so.